Hello everyone, welcome to detailsing.com tutorial. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to do basic ST access authentication. So, what is the need of this? In most of the websites, we do have a folder called administration where we do have some tools which actually helps us to manage our website. Basically, we do have some login system on this particular folder still if we have one more layer of protection on that that would be great so for that we can go for this HD access authentication method okay this article was actually already written in details in dot com I will show you how to read that article in details in dot com first Open the website in your browser and there was a link called technology. Where you can find the PHP link. There you can go for this article and how to create basic status login to secure the folder from public website. The article was written completely over there and let me show you how to do that in line. Okay, for example, I have created a folder called admin in the domain called detailsinn.com. So I don't want this folder to be accessible for the public. So I just want to go for this HTTPS login. So I just did open it on my file manager. You can see that I have brought through that folder where I have kept two main files. One is .ht access and the second one is .ht password. The third file is my regular file which actually has my content of that page. So for example, I just leave it empty. So these two files .ht access and .ht password are the major key things on this ST access login so let me show you what is the content that I have over there let me open ST access file first basically ST access file can be used for many things like URL redirection and uh, this authentication etc etc so here I have used it purely for this authentication purpose and you can see what was the content over there. So you can see the lines over there which was telling a basic type of authentication has to happen when the public access this folder. And, uh, and there is another called app name where inside the codes I have entered some string protected area please authenticate which is actually the message for the user who is trying to reach that URL so when the user try to reach that URL he will get that message saying protected area and please authenticate and there will be a box where he can enter his username and password and the second and the third line which actually you can see in the screen is auth user file which is actually we have to show the code where our password file exists which is dot ht password which we have in the same folder so actually this has to start with our root folder name say for example in my hosting my folder comes under slash home as detail site slash public html then my folder called admin and then I have mentioned my ht password mm -hmm. file so actually which means this setup tells the ht program saying my password exists in this location so authenticated authenticate the user 
or against that password which is present in that file. And the fourth line you can see record valid user which actually does this prompt thing based on the above configuration. So these are the four lines that we have to write in stxs dot stxs file. So let me show you what is present in st password file which as I have told earlier it is the password detail of the user who is going to log in to the page so obviously you can you can't see the password in public so there is some way by which you can generate these lines like you can see there is a user called admin who have some password which was encrypted that we we can't write in the direct way. so how to do that it was explained in this article that you can see there was a website website present over there called staccesstools.com slash st password generator so in this website you can actually tell which username and which password you are going to use against that I mean you want to really that user to log into that particular folder so in this website if you go there you can see there was two fields called username and password where you can say hey I want to add one user named uh, well details in and the password is just password and hit the button create ST password file so you will be getting the line over there which you have to actually paste into your ST password file so let me copy this let me paste it in my ST password file let me put the save changes alright so it's my time to access it in the browser and make sure it's working fine so let me try accessing details in dot com slash admin so you can see the authentication box in your screen saying a username and password is being requested by details in dot com the site says protected area please authenticate these are the lines that you have entered in your ST access file now you enter s i'm sorry x details in and this password yes you got you, you are granted access you can see that your index.html file was executed since i do not have any content over there it remains empty but in your website whatever data you have that will be given shown on your screen thanks for watching the tutorial thanks